it's coming from inside. Inside the tomb. Don't answer it. No. Somebody opened it. No. I've been in here a long time ago, too. There's a ball. Why? Why the hell would you go in there? Hola? Hola? I literally got what sound like mommy coming out of here. Holy shit, screw that. I'm turning on my flashlight. Hola. I think I'm gonna get a little bit closer on the inside here. I've been in here a while ago and someone had robbed a tomb. Specifically, a baby's tomb. Nino? Alguien? Securidad? I'm not getting anything. I'm gonna go down. Oh. Let me see if I can record my cell phone for a second. Give me a second. Oh, brother. I really don't want to go down there. You don't have to. You don't have to. Oh my god, nope. Holy shit. I freaking left my camera there. Just kick the ball down the stairs. I just got a giggle. Just kick the that ball down the stairs, like you're good. going on the inside. Nino? I am like about to just call security. And get security in here. What the hell are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? I don't even know where they are. It's not like they have a phone. I gotta go find them with dogs. Holy shit. I legit just heard what sounded like a giggle. <coughs> I'm gonna go inside. Don't attack me. Yo voy a entrar. No me toques. Oh god, I'm freaking nervous. Man, pull I your pants up. <laughs> it got really hot in here. Hola? Cyclist is cruising on a hill when he finds an abandoned house sitting on top. He proceeds to check out the place, feeling a bit scared, as he can't help but feel an ominous vibe surrounding the property. Little does he know that something utterly horrifying would occur while exploring this place. This is what he caught. A house is never abandoned. You gotta remember that. Never abandoned. There's always something living in the house. That's a pretty big bedroom. Holy shit, this is scary. Dude, this is how horror movies start. <laughs> exactly, man. Why are you putting yourself in this position then?
fucking heebie-jeebies, dude. Dude, that dark room. I kept feeling something was gonna jump out at me. What's down here? No, oh no. I think you've gone too far. Naturally, as anyone would, the motorcyclist leaves the property at once, feeling totally spooked. Most viewers believe that whatever was thrown had to be done by a poltergeist or something paranormal, as the general atmosphere of the place seems to suggest this. Then again, a few believe that it could have been a homeless individual who was using the house for shelter. Exactly. Whatever the case might be, exactly. there's no doubting that the encounter itself is pretty scary. It isn't known if the motorcyclist will be coming back to explore this place further, but given what occurred, it seems highly unlikely that he would. Yeah, As you always, don't gotta do that. What are your thoughts on this? Is the house was enough for one day. by a supernatural force, or is something else inside? Feel free to share what you think down below. When Peter from Mexico explains that while his parents went out to buy some candles since the lights went out, his little brother wanted to use the restroom, which is located outside in the pitch dark yard. Estamos aquí en la casa de mi bisabuela. Se fue la. Se fue la luz. Esta es la casi porque y mi mamá. Espérense. Y mi mamá y mi abuela se fueron al Oxxo a comprar velas por eso. Por lo que pasó de que se fue la luz. Y pues estamos aquí. Esas son las. Mi abuelito. Espérense, no sean chillones. No vamos a, no va a pasar nada. Y esas son las cenizas de mi bisabuelo. Porque pues desgraciadamente él ya falleció. Y, y el baño está allá. El baño. Mi hermano quiere hacer pipí, pero el baño está allá. Y mi abuela nos dijo que cuidáramos. Mi abuela nos. Mi abuelo nos dijo. Fuck that, go pee in the sink inside the house. I ain't going out there to fucking pee. I'm gonna go pee inside the kitchen sink. The kids were too scared to go out. But as Peter musters up the courage to take his little brother to the restroom, he decides to record the situation. This is what he captured. What the hell? Inside the bathroom shed, a dark figure suddenly rushes towards the kids as Peter drops the phone and runs in fear. The dog seems to be horrified by this thing as well. As whatever this thing is seems to be animal-like and begins to inspect the phone, moving it around. The kids' screams of terror are heard from inside the house as it begins to look for them. Peter is yet to post an update video. As he mentions in his page, his parents won't allow him access to his social media. Show me your fucking reel, pussy. Fuck your fucking island. <sighs> yeah. Show me. That's one way to get a ghost to show itself. Fucking Satan ass motherfucker. <laughs> show me. Prove to me that you're fucking real. Do it, pussy. Do it. Yeah. Oh my fucking gosh, bro. Bro. This guy. Shut the fuck up! Demonic entity starts messing with this poor guy. Walked as it, it walked. It literally sounded. Stacy, 
What the? <laughs> Bro, why are you using a Ouija board, dude? Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. That's. I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know if I want to know what the hell that was. You don't want to okay. know. Somebody tell me what that was. Just keep that a little closer. Is there somebody outside? Yeah. Please leave. Dang, my bro's using the spirit box right now from Phasmophobia. That was that sound again. What the fuck? I gotta get the hell out of here. There you go. Smart man. <laughs> Smart man. Damn, he went the all the way thing. to the middle Something of the woods. Made a sound in my ear. What the? What the? What the? What the f was that? Nope. Nope. Let's just go. Let's just go. The sound is. That was that sound again. It appears a orb flies at him, and he hears the demon again. I just heard something. At one point, he finds a strange object on the floor. Unsure of what it is, he moves closer to investigate. He then pans his torch before something quite creepy happens. Watch. The closet door next to him seems to suddenly slide closed. Whoa, 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 slow down there, bro. He then enters the bedroom where he finds slow down. an old mirror. That's when more eerie activity occurs. It says uh, October 28th, so it wasn't a firework from 4th of July. Who the hell is lighting fireworks at October on October 28th? starts as a harmless prank quickly takes a spooky turn. This guy is tricking his grandma into thinking there's a mimic in the house. But here's the twist. Commenters are saying, what if she's the real mimic? Imagine the shock if grandma isn't who she appears to be. Grandma? Yeah. What? What? Walter. 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 As grandma calls his name over and over, Walter, 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 the tone gets creepier each time. One commenter jokes, imagine she's actually the mimic, while another suggests, what if you leave, then call her and say you'll be home in 20 minutes. There, Just the thought smart. of this prank turning real has everyone on edge. And with grandma's tone so steady and strange, maybe, just maybe, she's not the one being tricked here. Walter thinks he's just pulling a funny prank on grandma, but some viewers aren't so sure. As she keeps calling Walter in that exact chilling tone, one person writes, Bro, hearing her call your name in the same way over and over getting closer gave me chills. Another says, Imagine if she wasn't home at all. The line between a funny prank and a horror story gets blurry here. Who's the real mimic in this house? 
another cool set of creepy videos. You guys let me know down in the comments which videos you guys enjoyed the most. If you guys did enjoy my reactions, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new here, don't forget to sub for more future content and hope to catch you on the next one.